This is Code Combat. I'm currently working on Game Development 1, the JavaScript version of the course. I'm on level 18. Persistence pays. Win the game. Track the enemy's defeat property. Store the defeat property in the DB, or database. Can store information between player plays of your game. Huh. DB set dot set defeat game dot defeat sets the defeated number in the database to the value of the game dot defeat. Wow. Okay, we'll go through this. DB add plays one adds one to the player's number stored in the database. Then use UI track database DB plays to display the plays count. Oh, so you add up. So you're adding one each time you play to the player's count in the database. Okay, cool. Look at all this. Wow. All right. Show the value of the defeated property of the game object. Of the defeated property. Okay. So UI.track, we got this, um, of the game. And then in quotes, we want defeated there. Now, use db.add key value, so the key va and value pair, to add a value of the key is total defeat. Defeated to the data. Okay, so we're going to add how many enemies were defeated to the database, and then the like title of what that is. Or the key is what they're saying. The label for it will be total defeat. Okay. All right. So db dot add key. Oh, it's not key. What's our key? Our key, our label for the info we're gonna give to the database is total defeat, and then our value that total defeat is gonna represent when someone asks what the total defeat is, that should be bringing up the game defeated number that we kept track of while playing. All right, let's see if we got it. For eight seconds? Who, oh, how would I not? Oh my gosh, am I going to... Woohoo! We did it. Awesome. So it was a bit complicated, but that's really cool if we can start saving things to the database. Let's keep going.